Hey everyone, I've got another hardware video for you. Today I read that Blender 3.3 LTS was released, and one of the big exciting parts of that to me, and I'm sure a lot of you guys, is that uh, you can use Vega architecture GPUs from the AMD side now. And I know a lot of people had kind of been asking for that in the forums and everything. So, this PC here is the one I was going to use for my Tesla K80s to test those out. Haven't tried them yet, but before I get into that, I'm going to tear these out of here and run this Vega 56 I have. It's an MSI Air Boost, so it's a blower. It'll be kind of loud and hotter than normal, but this thing's going back in the in the render farm area anyway, so I don't really care about that. So I'm going to throw this in, do some testing, and see how well this works in Blender 3.3. Okay, here I'm showing my desktop. First, I'm going to remote into the PC with the Vega 56 installed, and we're going to show that Vegas do work now in Blender 3.3 in viewport performance, and then we'll do a short test render to show, um, to get an actual time for a render that we can compare to another card, maybe a RTX 3060, just for reference. So I'm going to remote into the PC with the Vega right now and open up a file to use to test it. This is one of my render server PCs. And if you go up to edit preferences, you can see what hardware options you have. If you go to system, so selecting the Vega 56, I can tab through all of these options and you can see the only option you have with the Vega GPU is in fact the HIP renderer, which is what we expected. If you have a fast CPU, it seems to help speed up rendering with the Vega. Otherwise, if you have a relatively old one, um, leave it unchecked. But for now, just to test the Vega, I will leave my processor turned off. And then I'll plan on rendering in 2560 by 1440, because that is what my monitor is. And we'll set the render settings to run 1024 samples, just as a good base point. And we'll turn on denoising using Open Image Denoiser. And the viewport settings will be somewhat similar. And then we will switch over to render view mode. So you can see here, viewport performance is not terrible. Uh, you know, the Vegas are pretty old GPUs relatively now, but, uh, you know, this is just one Vega 56. If you had two, this would obviously be twice as fast, but you can see it's it's definitely usable. So if you have Vega 56 GPUs laying around or any of the Vega architecture, they are definitely a viable option if you just need something to work on Blender with. And uh, really material preview here, um, or rendered preview is actually not too slow. So let's pull up the camera We'll keep it. We'll keep it in the same spot so that all of our tests will be uniform. And I'll render that one real quick. And we'll probably pause it because this might take a minute, and then come back in a second. Okay. Now here is the final render on the Vega 56 with no help from the CPU. It looks like this took about three and a half minutes. And you can see we're on frame 279 of this sequence. So we'll do the exact same thing on a different card. So I am going to remote into a PC that has an RTX 3060. All these PCs I have are set up to help me render. I have videos on my channel about how to set that up. Okay, I'm opening the same file here on the other computer, up in edit mode. I am going to run optics with the 3060, and then no help from the CPU again. Um, this test is not meant to be a fair test, in that we're not testing HIP and CUDA. 
Uh, this is really just to kind of compare it to a, a more modern card to show you performance versus, you know, something else that you might have or might be able to get now. So we're going to run the 3060 on optics. We'll take it out of camera mode. We'll make sure everything's fair. So all the, all the render settings are the same. We'll come over to our sampling. Set the render samples to 1024 again. Denoiser. So the denoiser with optics is significantly faster just because the software is so much better. But we'll use that because, again, that's what you would use if, if you were comparing a Vega 56 to like a 3060. And we'll switch to our render preview. And you can see the 3060 is quite a bit faster than the Vega 56. And really it only takes a few seconds and this thing is rendered out in a nice preview. So I wouldn't go out, based on this even, I wouldn't go out and buy a Vega 56 right now for Blender. But if you have them already, especially multiple in one system, they're, they're definitely adequate. So I wouldn't be afraid to use them. All right, we'll go back to our camera view here and render this frame. And this render test here will really probably show the big difference. And I won't even I won't even pause this one. Um, this won't take all that long with optics. Optics is just so fast. Um, I hope AMD's software catches up because it'd be really nice if these two things can kind of compete more, but. If you need to know which GPUs are compatible with Blender now, um, go look at their website. I'll have a link in the description. But I believe at this point, Vega GPUs, so Vega 56, Vega 64, Frontier series, all that. Um, and then the 6000 series are for sure supported. And I think the 5000 series AMD GPUs are now supported as well. So. From the newest series, that would only leave out the uh, 500 series, so RX 580 and 570 are not officially supported at this point. But refer to their website if you have those to make sure. They do have updates fairly often on Blender, so by the time you see this video, that may not be true anymore. But this is Blender 3.3. Okay, so... The RTX 3060 took one minute and a little over 15 seconds. So it's about, it's about twice as fast as the Vega 56. So really the Vega 56 is, is not a bad card still. So if you've got them, use them. And really that, that's all I wanted to show you guys. Just let you know that Vegas are working in Blender again. Hope this helps and thanks for watching.